Welcome to the Alpron and Bifilm Removal System video guide. My name's Jane and I'm going to be taking you through the process. We'll look at the kit and how to use it. The whole process will take in surgery about 60 minutes. For future reference, the written instructions and data sheets can be downloaded and printed from the CD. This is how your starter kit should arrive. When you open the box, you should find the following items. Two dip slides, a bottle of sodium hypochlorite solution, a bag of crystals and activator, a bottle of BC San, a one litre bottle of Alpron concentrate, a storage container complete with tap, a jug and a funnel. In addition, you should find the CD that I referred to a few moments ago. Now that you've checked to see that you've got everything you need in the kit, we can move to the first stage. If you're using a clean and clear kit, you can omit this stage and skip straight to stage two. Stage one involves testing a sample of water from the chair using one of the two dip slides. This will give us a benchmark as to the current level of contamination. When you take the dip slide out of its tube, please be careful not to wave it around in the air or touch it onto any other surface while you are taking your water sample. Carefully remove the slide from the tube. Express a sample of water into the tube until the tube's about two thirds full. Dip the slide into the water sample three times. Tip the water sample down the sink and replace the dip slide into the tube. Fill out the label with the date of the test and identify the chair. The dip slide should now be stored at room temperature. A cupboard in the surgery is absolutely ideal. Look at the slide after three days, five days and seven days. This is the kind of result we would expect to see at this stage. Now you've tested a sample of water, Prepare the chair for the biofilm removal process. If you've been using any other chemical in the chair, thoroughly flush the chair through with water. All the hand pieces and multiflex couplings need to be removed to reduce any risk of blockage during this part of the procedure. Now the chair is prepped, we can do the biofilm removal. This involves using the chemicals in the kit, so personal protective equipment is strongly advised, and if you can, open the windows. The first chemical you need is a sodium hypochlorite, and you'll also need the jug and funnel. Tip the hypochlorite into the jug, and add hot tap water up to the one litre mark. Stir to mix. Depressurize the bottle on the unit, remove it and discard any contents. Rinse the bottle and fill with a hypochlorite solution. Reattach the bottle to the unit and repressurize. Operate the foot control to purge the hypochlorite solution through each outlet in turn.
You'll be able to detect a faint smell of bleach when the lines are full. Stop at this point and leave the solution in the unit for at least 20 minutes. Purge all the remaining hypochlorite through the unit. This may mean having to refill the bottle, but all the hypochlorite should be used. Rinse the jug and the funnel if you've used it. Depressurize the bottle, remove from the unit and rinse. For the second part of the biofilm removal, you'll need the bag of blue crystals and activator, the rinsed bottle, the jug and funnel. Carefully open the packet of crystals and empty them into the jug. Add hot tap water up to the 2 litre mark and stir until the crystals dissolve, then add the activator. Pour this solution into the bottle and reattach to the unit. Repressurize and purge through each outlet until the pale blue color can be seen coming through. At this At this point stop and like before leaving the lines for at least 20 minutes. Purge all the remaining blue solution through the unit. Depressurize the bottle, remove from the unit and rinse along with the jug and funnel. BC San 100 is used to disinfect the bottle on the unit. This can be done as part of the setup procedure and thereafter should be repeated at least once every three months. Pour a little neat BC San onto a paper towel and wipe the outside of the bottle paying particular attention to the thread at the neck. Tip the remaining BC San into the bottle and fill the bottle with cold tap water. If the bottle has no visible contamination, a 5 minute contact time is all that's needed. For bottles that have gross contamination, leave the solution overnight.
The BC Sand solution can be discarded down the sink and after rinsing the bottle is ready for use. By this stage any existing biofilm should have been removed and the next stage is to stop it reforming. A 1% solution of Alpron should achieve this providing it is left in the chair at all times. To make 5 litres of 1% Alpron solution measure out 50 ml of Alpron concentrate and tip into the empty 5 litre storage canister. Fill with cold tap or distilled water to the 5 litre mark. Attach the drain tap and dispense into the cleaned bottle. Reattach the bottle to the unit, repressurize and purge half the bottle through the unit. Refill the bottle, reattach the multiflex couplings and hand pieces and the chair is now ready for use. The success of the biofilm removal can be assessed after seven days by using the second dip slide. The procedure is exactly the same as with the first one. If the slide is clear after three days, check again at five days. If it's clear at five days, check again at seven days. And if it's still clear at seven days, the chair has passed. Evidence of growth during this time indicates a fail and a further biofilm removal is needed. That's all there is to it. So let's just summarise the stages that we've been through. You check that all the bits of the kit were actually in the box. You did an initial water test using one of the dip slides. You prepared the chair and mixed and purged the hypochlorite solution. We prepared the BRS remover and purged it through the unit. The clean bottle was disinfected using BC San and we mixed the 1% Alpron solution. Half a bottle of Alpron was flushed through the unit to remove any residual chemicals and a follow-up dip slide test was done after seven days of using the Alpron in the chair. Paragraph 6.83 
of the HTM0105 refers to removing the bottles at night. However, paragraph 6.86 .6 refers to disinfection systems for dental unit water lines and specifically states that the manufacturer's instructions should be followed. For the Alpron system to be effective, the bottle must be kept on the unit at all times. Simply express a little fresh Alpron through each outlet in the morning before treatment begins. To ensure the Alpron system continues to be effective, do a dip side test on each unit every three months and keep a record of the results. Once you have treated the chair and it has passed the dip side test, you can apply for certification. A registration form can be downloaded and printed from the CD. Thank you for listening and watching our video presentation. If you have any further concerns or queries, please contact us at the office.